Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to the very first episode of Top 10 Countdown. I'm your host, Jordan Ross. Basically, we at Cinematics will put together a random film-related top 10 list, break it down for everyone, and then all of you can tell us how wrong we were in the comments sections. So for our very first episode, we're going to break down the top 10 actors who have never won an Oscar. Number 10 on our list is one of the greatest character actors of all time. We're talking about John Goodman. Goodman is a frequent collaborator with the Coen brothers, and even appeared in two Best Picture winners in back-to-back -back years, The Artist and Argo in 2011 and 2012. Not only has John Goodman never won an Oscar, he's never even been nominated. Don't mind me. Number 9 is an actor who's played some of the most iconic villains in the history of cinema. Ray Fiennes brought to life the terrifying Nazi commander in Schindler's List, which earned him an Oscar nomination for Best Supporting Actor. However, he lost out to Tommy Lee Jones for his role in The Fugitive. I mean, Tommy Lee Jones was good in The Fugitive and all, but really? Rafe also plays the noseless villain in the Harry Potter series, Lord Va- Uh, he who must not be named. He doesn't only play villains, though. I mean, this guy can do it all. He can even do comedy, as he showed in the Best Picture nominee, Grand Budapest Hotel, as well as the most recent Coen Brothers movie, Hail Caesar. Ray Fiennes is one of the most underrated actors in Hollywood today. Can someone give this man an Oscar already? With the tattoo so simple. Number eight is an actor who had one of the best film debuts in recent memory. Edward Norton burst onto the scene in Primal Fear, but since then he's played many other memorable roles, including that one time he played a mild-mannered guy who had a really violent alter ego that he couldn't control, and that other time he played a mild-mannered guy who had a really violent alter ego that he couldn't control. Okay, well how about that time that he played a member of a heist team, but then he betrayed the rest of the team to take all the money for himself? And that other time he played a member of a heist team, but betrayed the rest of the team so he could take all the money for himself? Okay, okay, so maybe he's been typecast in some oddly specific roles, but there's no denying that he's a great actor, as his three Oscar nominations can attest. Number seven is one of the kookier actors on our list. However, he's also one of the most talented. Joaquin Phoenix has openly stated that he doesn't care about the Academy Awards. In fact, this is what he said about the Oscars. It's a carrot, but it's the worst tasting carrot I've ever tasted in my entire life. I don't want this carrot. Anyway, Joaquin Phoenix has given many memorable performances, and while he may not care about winning an Oscar, there's no denying that he deserves one. The most Oscars that any actress has been nominated for without winning is six by Glenn Close. However, number six on our list is right behind her with five. Amy Adams is one of the most talented actresses in Hollywood today. She has a huge range and is equally believable whether she's in a musical comedy or a gritty drama. She's also appeared in three films that were nominated for Best Picture since 2010, and she has six movies lined up. It's only a matter of time until Amy Adams gets what she deserves, much like her Catch Me If You Can co-star. The actor that lands on the number five spot on our list is Ed Harris. Harris has almost 100 credits to his name and has been nominated for four Oscars, which is the most among all the male actors on our list. Now, Ed usually plays a villain or a supporting character, but in pretty much every film he's in, he steals a show. But when he does get a chance to star, he shines. Just watch Pollock, which he directed and starred in, earning himself one of his four Oscar nominations. It's just baffling to me that Ed Harris doesn't already have an Oscar. I mean, what's up with that? What is that? <laughs> no, because... What is that? What is that? You know? What is that? What is it? What is it? Until the last couple of years, number four on our list was a massively underrated actor. Jake Gyllenhaal has finally started to break out and show what he can really do with his roles in movies like Nightcrawler, Prisoners, Southpaw, and more. However, Jake has been giving us great performances for a while now and movies like Donnie Darko and Brokeback Mountain, which earned him his lone Oscar nomination. And how could we forget his performance in the 2001 cinematic classic, Bubble Boy? Number three is an actress that came out of nowhere back in 2011 when she appeared in seven films that year. 
Of course, we're talking about the incredible Jessica Chastain. Now, since she burst onto the scene five years ago, she's been nominated for two Oscars and appeared in four Best Picture nominated films. It wasn't that long ago that she was struggling to get a job, but now everyone wants to put her in their movies. Do I get the job? Yes, Jessica, you get all the jobs. Now, some people have said Jessica Chastain is the next Meryl Streep, which is extremely high praise, but it's also warranted. It's only a matter of time until Jessica Chastain has not one, but several of those little gold statues. Number two on our list made one of the greatest career comebacks in cinematic history. We're of course talking about Robert Downey Jr. Since recovering from alcoholism and drug addiction in the early 2000s, Robert Downey Jr. has gone on to play Iron Man in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, as well as Sherlock Holmes. Robert Downey Jr. scored his first Oscar nomination for his portrayal of Charlie Chaplin. He was also nominated for his role in Tropic Thunder, you know, the one where he played a dude playing a dude disguised as another dude. Now ultimately, he lost out to the late great Heath Ledger. However, being nominated for a comedic role is a big accomplishment in its own right. Ain't nothing but a thing. Finally, number one on our list is, in our opinion, the most underrated actor of this generation. We're talking about Gary Oldman. Gary Oldman has played some of the most iconic movie villains, as well as some of the most beloved characters in cinematic history like Sirius Black in the Harry Potter series, or Commissioner Gordon in Christopher Nolan's Dark Knight trilogy, or even Matthew McConaughey's dwarf twin brother. There's one small problem. Hi, I'm Ralph. I'm his brother. We're twins. Are your parents, um... Seriously, that happened. This guy transforms himself for every role, yet shockingly has only been nominated for one Oscar in his entire career. Forget all of the Leonardo DiCaprio memes, we need to start posting Gary Oldman memes. Get this man an Oscar! Well, that's all we got. What did you think of our list? Did we leave out any of your favorite actors or actresses? If so, just tell us in the comments section. Also, be sure to hit that subscribe button and follow us on all of our social media accounts. I hope you enjoyed the first episode of Cinematic's Top 10 Countdown. Until next time, I'm Jordan Ross.